he just used a cloaking device. Tried to get away. There's over 40 different skills that, that can be unlocked by playing. Even if you hit level 50, which is our, our temporary level cap, uh, you still won't be able to get them all. But we're going to allow people to respect their character whenever they want to try out new things. So we're not entirely grounded in reality, but the kind of way we look at it is if it's possible or on future weapons or something like that, then, uh, then we'll, we'll allow it in the game. Whenever there is a decision between something that's realistic or something that's fun, we always go for what's fun. He just used a boost. Uh, boosts have positive and negative effects, so while one boost might make, give you more health, it might also make you less accurate. Uh, so there's always a trade-off. You're allowed to equip two boosts before you go into, into a, a map. And you have to pick which ones are the right ones to bring in. On the crafting side, you'd also be able to craft boosts. Um, so you can be a boost dealer, a weapons dealer, a uh, clothing vendor, that kind of thing. See some of the visuals, the semi-transparent cloth on the sides there. We really are using, we're using the uh, Unreal Engine 3. Um, it's given us incredible graphics. We're also partnered with some middleware companies that are really adding a lot with uh, Illuminate Labs on Beast Technology for the lighting and speed tree for foliage. You know, our statistics are tracked on, on everything that you do inside the game and half of that is for so we can catch people that cheat um, because we have to be conscious of all the hacks that are prevalent in typical shooters and we also have to be conscious of exploits that are found in MMOs. One of our real goals is to make sure that we have thousands of different kinds of clothing um, so everybody has a unique look uh, as opposed to what you find in typical MMOs where at a certain level in a certain class everybody has the kind of same armor because it, you know, it really is the best for that particular time. We're much more concerned with getting everybody to have their own unique look and everybody to kind of be different. So here's a clothing shop. You can buy tons of different kinds of things. So we're working, because we're based in New Jersey, we have uh, great access to New York City. Uh, New York City is such a hotbed for urban fashion designers uh, that we've been in great communication with a bunch of different people on, on how we can get their designs in our game. It'll add a ton of immersion. Um, it's product placement. We're not even looking for the money for it. We're really just looking to get you know, real things in there that people are interested in wearing. Uh, so that's Crimecraft, our Persistent World next-gen shooter. Uh, we're looking to launch in uh, Q3 of 2009. Uh, we're in uh, Friends and Family Beta right now, rolling out into bigger uh, and better closed beta, and we'll start uh, sending out invites soon.